use this simple technique to create long shadows in Illustrator. Start with your shape. I'm going to use the star tool. It's going to draw out a star, holding Alt and Shift, release. I'm happy with that shape. I'm going to center this using the align to artboard. Once I have my shape, I'm going to create two more versions of it. Hold Alt, click and drag out, and again, hold Alt, click and drag out. Let's change the color of this to a yellow. And then for my shadow, let's use a kind of darker orange. So make sure these two are the same color. If you want to lock this in as well, you can, but we're only using three shapes, so this should be fairly straightforward. Once you have then your two shapes that are going to form the shadow, select the second one, set the opacity to 0%, hold shift and highlight the two, go to object, blend, make, and then once you've selected the blend, go back then to object, blend, blend options. We're going to then come down to specify distance, and we're going to set that to 1%. Pixel. Press OK. Let's zoom out to touch here so we can see what's going on. You might find as well this back shape might be in the front. If that's the case, come to Object, Blend, Reverse Front to Back, and you won't have that issue. I'm going to right click, Arrange, Send Backward so it comes behind my main star. And then I'm going to use the view smart guides to align this behind the star as such. The great thing about this now, if I select it with the direct selection tool, if I click this anchor point here, I can change the length, the direction of the shadow in any way I want. If I use selection just to move the top star out of the way, if I then come back in with direct selection and I select the star itself, I can then change the color of the star, change the shape, do as I please. And I can also do that with the back star as well. And, and then, as I said, if I select the path and click and drag it, I can change the path of the star as such. So let's just bring this back to the center. And there's my completed long shadow. So there you have it. There's a very simple way to create long shadows in Illustrator. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and let me know future tutorials you would like to see on this channel. Keep on designing. And until next time, I'll see you next time for the next tutorial.